Hey everybody, I'm Mark W. Gray, your 360 guru. I guess I am now. Uh, look what came in the mail. I think this is, actually I know it is, my new PixPro 360 camera that shoots 360 in 4K. And let's just unbox this little fella right here. Okay. Well, oh, there's the return sticker. This is because... Um, they're loaning this to me from Kodak because uh, I guess they'll be to show how cool it is. So that's what I'll be doing. So I can ship this back. Oh, look, there it is. Okay, oh, there's a memory card in there. There's one memory card. I hope there's more than one. Okay, got a little micro SD memory card there and a reader. Should be two of these because there's two cameras though. Are there two in there? There we go. Nope, there's only one memory card in there. Eight gigabytes? Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Eight gigabytes? That's. Ugh. I have taco chips with more memory than that. Alright, here we go. It's just like it slides right out. Taped in. The shell. And those are all the accessories. Alright, let's start with the cameras. Kodak Pix Pro 364K Action Cam Dual Pro Pack. I have to send this back after 30 days unless I decide to keep it. In which case they charge me the, the full price. Okay, this is exciting. Some directions on top here. Don't get any of that. It's like a polishing cloth. Okay, here are batteries. And these are the cameras themselves. Beautiful there. Oh, there's a thumbprint on it already. It's not even mine. Anyway, these do not already have the lens covers on. This is without the lens cover, I think. Yeah, that's the just the regular lens. But here's a cute little case for them to go in. I'll slide off the table now. like a USB charging cable. Okay, these are the lens covers. This is important. And the lens caps. Okay. At YouTube, they always tell us to, you know, always keep the, the lens protectors on these things. Then in the directions I just read for this camera, it says to take them off for better results. Which both makes sense. That's odd. So there's one little pouch here that has this in it, which is the lens cap and the lens cover. Oh, I see. There's just a retaining ring here. And when you screw it on, there's the lens cover. There's the lens cap. Okay, got in there and clean that. This one's just stuck in there. It's odd without the lens cover. Okay, I see. It was black in the pouch, so I didn't see it. So there's one camera. Then here's the lens cover for this camera. So we're gonna take that ring off. And here comes the lens cap. Very nice. So you got a rubber lens cap over the glass lens cover to protect your lens. If you drop that and scratched it, you're out of business. That's the camera just with a big scratch. Whereas if you get a thumbprint on that, you can wipe it off. Okay, looking good so far. Here's our batteries. Here is 
one battery charger. You'd think they'd give you two battery chargers. So it's in the accessory pack. All right, what have we got here? Nice organized little multi-pack thing here. We have a little wristband, remote control. That's cool, that syncs up the cameras, lets you remote shoot them from your wrist, that's good. We've got, this is the little wrench that you use. It's like for all the GoPro mounts. Yeah, most of the hardware for this is the same as this for a GoPro. This looks like you could snap a camera on there and then snap that on a, on a bicycle or something, like on a rod. This, okay, this is the dual mount. We need this. Yes. This is the gadget that the two cameras go in to give you the 360 mount. Very cool. The next generation of this, supposedly they're going to drill this out so you can uh, plug in uh, the USB power supply up through it. Not yet. This is a suction cup for unboxing, for unboxing at all. There's a suction cup so you can mount the whole thing on the on your windshield, I suppose. That's fun. All right, here is a single camera mount. So you can mount the one camera and mount it sticking up like that and it'll shoot, you know, kind of a 360 dome sort of thing. And here is the selfie stick. Which is a very cool selfie stick that's made for this. You can twist it. Make it longer and then tighten it like that. You've got a nice little wand built in for your camera. And there's a threaded hole in the bottom here, which is great because you can put that on a little tripod so you can stand it up on the table. All right, I'm going to put all this together. First things first, I think, is batteries. Little thing to lift up. Okay, there's one. And we'll mount it in here. I don't love this rig here because you've got to take it completely apart to access the batteries, you know? If I've been looking at the screen this whole time and not looking at the lens like, a, like an amateur. Oh, well. So it's only one way these could go in, which makes it a little bit easier to deal with. I need a tool. This is cool. I got a couple of these at the uh, NAB. It's this little, this little gadget to keep on your key ring, which is just for screwing the uh, tripod nuts in. On things. Because you're always trying to like put a camera on a tripod and you never have the right, you know, screwdriver. Like, Who's got a nickel or whatever? This is all your key ring all the time and it's a really good fat little screwdriver. Okay, that's one camera. It's the other camera, it's the threaded hole. See that in the bottom there is where you plug in your uh, USB and your memory card. Oh, I gotta put the memory card in. They only sent me one memory card. That's a little stupid, Kodak. There's just to be one 8K memory card with two cameras. That's a little silly. But at least we can get it all plugged in and play with it a little bit here. There we go. The threaded hole goes in the bit there. Can't close that yet. This actually gives you a much more positive lock than the last one I used. It just had a kind of a knurled knob to twist. Okay, that's in there. Bit of wiggle. And then the over strap goes over the top. Then you also want to put it through this, which is our selfie stick. Then it all screws together just like that. Ah, I didn't gauge the screw. All right. And there we go, there's our 360 camera. Now I don't know why they made it like this with this weird offset here. You know, I would think you'd want it coming straight up and down the middle, but instead I get this little gooseneck here. I guess that's so when you do it like that and you're filming yourself like that, it kind of makes more sense. But it would do just as well if it were straight, anyway. Any kind of GoPro gadget will fit here. And I've got like a, a thing for my GoPro that just has a normal tripod socket on the bottom. So I can just, you know, put that onto the bottom of that. And any other kind of GoPro style gripology mounts that you have are going to work on this camera. 
Will the remote turning on? I have to like set something up first. They both turned on. That's awesome. First try out of the box. No programming. That's fantastic. They think it's September 1st, 2015. Have these been out that long? Of course, I push record and nothing happens because I've got no cards. All right, now I've got to order some cards really fast. All right, that's the 360 unboxing. Check it out. Get yourself one. I've made a couple of videos with this camera already, the one I borrowed from the YouTube space, and you can see them on the Professor Puppet channel, uh, which is pretty cool. Anyway, thank you for joining my unboxing. Pardon my pajamas.